Hello everyone, this is my um, diabetic alert service dog, Chloe, and I am just going to make a little film about the day in the life of a um, service dog. And so this morning we got up and she had her breakfast and she took a nap while I got ready. And now it's time to get her ready for the day. So first we start with brushing her teeth and I use um, the Verbac CT toothpaste and with a baby toothbrush and brush your And then I add the Tropic Queen um, fresh, breath, fresh Breath, I can't talk this morning, um, gel. Just a little bit. Then it is time to brush her. And I use the Espana Silk um, Natural Detangling Spray. And stand up. She ran away. I usually don't brush her right here. She thinks she was done. Okay, we're back. Um, I usually let her down after I brush her teeth and then brush her in another room, but for the camera, I thought it would all be easier just to do everything right here. So it's important for a service dog to be very used to being handled, um, to be good for grooming and um, really anything that you need to do to them because it's very important to keep a service dog very well groomed um, and clean because they are out in public areas and in restaurants, um, grocery stores, um, places where there's food, um, and you just don't want them smelling and um, tatty. It's very important that you know their their hair is kept trimmed, and um, I mean obviously Chloe has 
long hair, but it's still important that I keep, you know, her um, hair trimmed, like around her feet and on um, the bottom of her feet, especially between her paw pads. And that way, you know, it's easier for her to walk and she's not slipping. Um, so I keep her paws. See, trimmed really short so she's not slipping around. And this brush I'm using is the Madden Hen Brush and it's really good about working out tangles and um, not without pulling their hair. So I just brush her out really good. Get all of the loose hairs. Even though she's a Yorkie and Yorkies don't really shed, I mean, they lose hair kind of like a human. I mean, she's not been brushed in two days because she's just really not needed it. Um, She's not been doing anything active and hasn't gotten tangly. So that's about two days of loose hair that I just brushed out and, and that's really all she sheds. And so at night I take her hair down. As you can see, it's in her face. And I let her head rest just like us. Um, her eyes aren't open at night, of course. And so she doesn't really need to see. And so I just let her hair down and let it rest. And, but during the day, I just put one of these little scrunchies in it and hold it back. Gonna let me fix your hair. And when I tell her I'm gonna fix her hair, she just lays her head down and lets me fix her hair. I just put it up in a little ponytail to keep it out of her eyes so she can see. And I make sure it's loose, of course, so it's not, you know, pulling on her head and giving her a headache or anything like that throughout the day. So I just do this and I leave some room to where it can move up and down and put in the little scrunchie. And again, make sure it's loose and then move these little hairs around her face, get them laid down, and now she's ready for the day. <laughs>